hands are so clean. <clears throat> Slaving away in the kitchen. I'm like trying to make a, an effort to really appreciate being here while I'm here and not just after the fact, you know, like, because I know 10 years from now I'll look back and be like, gosh, that was the coolest experience. I know that I'm super lucky to be here in this like untouched place. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been. Whoa, dude. I told you I don't cook. This is like the first time I've ever done any of this. You know, be sort of guided around by Mike, and who is really good at stuff like this. I love bugs. I just, when I get hungry, I just, and they just suck right in my throat. I love it. It's really unique to be with somebody who's so comfortable with it and feel so uncomfortable with it. Ooh, that was a close one. Angie uh, is one of the strongest female boulders in the world and competition climbers. And that's amazing to have her out here and just, you know, like this spider just cruising up these amazing little teeny tiny holds up these boulders. I mean, it's fantastic. I just would really love to just do as much bouldering as I can while I'm here. And Lebecki was very interested in like doing a wall. And Ethan was sort of like, he was kind of the bridge between like Lebecki and me, I feel like. There have been a couple times when I've wished that I was somewhere a little bit safer. Oh, that almost makes me sick. Been a couple moments when I've been pretty scared and pretty tired and worn out, but I'll get a lot more out of this than I would just going to some area that's already been developed. It's good for me. I have definitely taken more risks than I had before and done things that I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. and been sort of guided through and that's been a good experience and I survived and fallen off boulders and <laughs> broken holds now and I think I'll come out in one piece. Ah! Ah! I think it's worth the small amount of risk for the the beauty so I yeah I think I'm beginning to understand why people come to places like this. If it weren't for climbing, I wouldn't have even dreamed of being in a place like this. Greenland, I know, is an experience that I was really... I just didn't know what to expect. Now I'm ready to take it home with me. And I can't wait to share all my photos and stories because it's pretty crazy that this place exists. I'm excited to tell everybody about it. The sound of the wind is calling my name it's been calling me home but taking me away Far